How's it everyone and welcome back to the Enclave. We are back with chapter 13 of the Legal Theory Firearms Test Book, whatever you want to call it. If you watched the last episode, we went into a little bit of a tangent about the way people broadcast things online and how they think it's private and confidential and how to the right people it really isn't. Today, I'm not sure if we're going to go on any tangents, but I am going to be explaining a few things in the section because I think it's something that out in the world is abused quite a bit and this could hopefully give you a little bit of power to avoid those situations in the future. Keep watching! And we're back! So, like I said in the introduction, this section is quite important. I will be honest, I did record the section before and it triggered me. <laughs> I won't lie, I got triggered. I deleted the footage and I knew that I would redo it because <sighs> crime in this country where I live, South Africa, is abysmal. It is widespread, it is ubiquitous, it is South Africa. South Africa is crime. And I know that there are a lot of people, including my wife, who will dislike the fact that I've said that. But, I believe it to be true. And why I say that is because our crime is so widespread that it, it's sort of not even considered crime anymore. It, it is integrated into our law enforcement, into our politics, into just everyday today businesses are in ways committing crimes, whether they'd like to admit it or not, whether they're I don't know, little white crimes, like, you know, like a, what a white lie is, like almost an innocent crime. Um, all the way up to like major, like major crimes. And one of those, which is actually not perpetrated by police, but it is going to cause problems for police, are things called blue light robberies. So blue light robberies are basically in a nutshell, you will be driving down the road and all of a sudden a cop will pull you over. A cop. They will have a vehicle that may or may not be branded in the official branding of our police force. They may be undercover cars which are actually used by our police force. They use white GTIs. Now the problem is white GTIs are one of the highest stolen vehicle in the country. So, criminals have massive access to white GTIs. What they will then do is they will put on their lights, put on a siren, which let's be honest guys, you can get installed from Midas, um, you can get installed from 90% of places, you can get a little blue light and um, a siren. It's, it's really not that difficult. Hit up the internet, two seconds. And basically what they will do then is they will pull you over and the first thing they will ask you, which by law a cop is allowed to ask you, do you have a firearm on you? Now the reason they want to know this is because they want to know are you going to fight back or are you going to just be a victim? Obviously they would prefer the latter. Now, here is what triggered me last time. Is Every case of this that I have seen, or that I have read about, or that I have heard of, the person says, yes, I have a firearm on me. No problem. The next thing they say is, please hand over your firearm and your license, so that we can inspect that the serial number is the same. Now, this is where I got triggered last time. I am going to do my at most to not get triggered this time. <sighs> Subject to section 107, 
Any holder of a license, permit or authorization issued in terms of the Act must produce a license or authorization for inspection within seven days. Okay, so what does that mean? That means that even if a proper, fully registered, licensed, accredited police officer pulls you over, you, as a licensed gun carrier, are under no obligation to hand them your firearm. Do not hand them your firearm. Okay, what you will do in that situation is say, yes officer, I am currently in possession of a license for XYZ. I currently have XYZ on my person. But considering we are in possession XYZ, I will not be handing, uh, sorry, handing over my self-defense weapon to someone on the side of the road. Be it a cop, be it a roadblock, be it anything. What you will do is find out from that officer where his police station is. Where is he dispatched from? What you do then is you say, officer, if you would like to continue this, if you would like to take this further, let us please proceed to your police station where we can have witnesses, where we can have a public place where everyone can see what is going on and I will gladly hand over my firearm for inspection. Please guys, do not hand over your self-defense weapon to some random person. I don't care what uniform he's wearing, be it real, be it fake. I do not care what car he is in, be it real, be it fake. Do not hand over your firearm to a police officer. If you would like, or if they would like, more like it, because let's be honest, you are not in control really in the situation. If they would like to continue there on the spot, they are more than welcome to inspect the serial number of your firearm without it leaving your person. It is very easy for you to hold up a firearm and display the serial number while they check on the card and check on the firearm. You do not need to give your firearm to someone on the side of the road, especially not at night, especially not in outwards rural areas. By law, you don't have to. So if that person says, you have to give me your gun, start your car and drive away. If they are truly police, and you go to the police station, you will find out very quickly that they are truly police and you will be fine. If they are criminals, I assure you they will drive off and they will try and find someone who doesn't understand their rights. <sighs> and there we go. So, I managed to not lose my temper. <laughs> because I will be honest, it, it irritates me when people are victims of crime because of their own doing. It is one thing when you're sitting at home, minding your own business and 10 guys come and break into your house and there's literally nothing you can do. I fully understand that. I will never judge someone for being a victim of crime in this country. But when you willingly hand your firearm over to a criminal who then immediately turns it around and points it in your face and says, this is a robbery, enjoy your evening, kidnaps you, potentially does unspeakable things to your wife or kids or you. you. You can't say that I didn't warn you and that this book didn't warn you. This book at no point says you immediately need to hand your, your firearm over to an officer that pulls you over on the side of the road. Nowhere does it say that. Nowhere does it say that. You do need to immediately present a license. Absolutely. Absolutely. If the cop at the roadblock says, so are you carrying a firearm? And you say yes, by law, absolutely. He can say, please may I see your valid license for said firearm? Absolutely. And in fact, if you want to be forthcoming, you could hand over your firearm license with your driver's license. If you'd like to say, so I am actually carrying a firearm. I am licensed here along with my driver's license is my firearms license. Feel free to do that. Um, I don't believe in handing out information before it's requested. You're probably just better off just not broadcasting the fact that you're carrying a firearm. If you're carrying it correctly, there should be no way for that officer to know. And unless you intend on harming the officer, 
he doesn't really need to know it's there. Whereas knowing it's there might put him in a different position, might put him in a position where he feels defensive. Unless they specifically ask you, don't broadcast it. That's just my personal opinion. I am not a lawyer. I just know that common sense is not so common in this country. <clears throat> so, once again, uh, if we move on to section C here, <clears throat> it says, produce the firearm in respect of which the license permit or authorization is issued within seven days. So, this is if you have your license but you do not have your firearm and they then suspect that either you've disposed of the firearm or altered it or whatever, they can then request that you show them that firearm. Once again, this is not on the side of the road, ladies and gentlemen. This is not there at the roadblock on 14th Avenue where you've got 100 cars behind you. You do not need to be whipping out your beautiful little canic on the side of the road. So, within seven days, once again, it'll either be your nearest police station or the police station that that officer is stationed from. <sighs> and that is pretty much that for section 13. I am very proud of myself. I didn't get upset. I managed to convey all the information that I wanted to convey. And I do believe that hopefully, um, if you are a firearms owner, you will have one of these books. You will head over to page 14 and you will confirm the fact that you do actually have some rights in this scenario. And that in fact, a lot of these blue lights robberies, the way they've gone down, they didn't need to go down that way. Because what would have happened alternatively is those criminals would have pulled the thing they, they decided to pull. That owner would have drawn his firearm. Bang, 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 bang. Crime solved. No need for police. No need for expensive prisons. No need for any of that sort of stuff. Just problem solved on the side of the road. And I, I do not advocate violence, but I do advocate self-defense. And I absolutely advocate self-defense in South Africa, a place where violent crime is so high that almost every single person in the country has experienced it. Anyway guys, this was a little bit of a, a doomy gloomy episode, but it is what it is. As always, we had your information up on the side over here. Hope you followed along, even though we, we only really covered two lines. <laughs> But yeah, we will get back momentarily with episode 14 or chapter 14, I should say. Hope everyone enjoyed watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Check out the annotations at the end here for more videos if you still have time. Peace out.